Hey guys, welcome back to another box break for old Marvel training cards. This time I've got something really nice. It's the Fleer Ultra X-Men and Wolverine from 1996. This is a regular hobby box with 24 packs. I don't know how many cards are in the packs. I know that the base set has only 100 cards. I hope I can complete it, although we'll have to see how many cards are in the packs. Because if there are only five or six cards, it might be very hard. And these are very, also very hard to come by. They are very expensive, but I got this box at a really nice discount. Or not discount, but I found a seller who had it at a fair price still. So let's see. Okay, so there's eight cards in the pack. Hopefully the cards are not sticky. Because that would be very annoying since I can't afford to buy another box. Usually these boxes go for 300 or 400 um, dollar. But let's see. So here's the first pack. And there's not a lot of chase cards. There are only two chase card sets. Oh, and they're a little bit sticky, but I think we're okay here. There's only um, two chase card set, and one of those are incredibly incredibly hard to find. So first off we have Wolverine vs. The Thing, Wolverine Department H, Song Snowbird, not Songbird. Oh and here we already have a chase card, that's pretty nice. As usual I will include the odds for the chase cards in the description for the video. Here we have Silver Fox, and as you can see, like the other Fleer Ultra sets, this is a very nice painted set with awesome artwork, exclusive artwork. Wolverine and Longshot, Mojo World, Wolverine and Typhoid Mary, Weapon X vs Cyclops. So just let's take a look at the odds, if they're included. Yes, they are. So the, there's one chase card set that's called the Holo Flash, and there are one in four packs, and then there's three Mirage, more of motion cards, and these are approximately one in 24 packs, so I should get one of these. And also, most of you will know it, but I will do a recap at the end of the video. Here we have Wolverine vs. Magneto, Sasquatch, Wolverine vs. Cyber, Wolverine vs. Spiral, Thunderbird, Magneto, and the checklist. And this is Wolverine and Elektra. There's also some promotional art for the Iron Man Exo Manowar PlayStation 1 game, Baby Colossus and Baby Nightcrawler, X Babies or Mojo World, Brood, Rogue, nice artwork, Wolverine Allies, Deathbird Enemies, Black Widow. Weapon X and Jean Grey from Age of Apocalypse, Baby Storm and Baby Havoc, Lady Deathstrike, Wolverine. Madripur, Tiger Tiger, Madripur, Psylocke, Weapon X, Age of Apocalypse, Sabertooth from Age of Apocalypse, and Cyclops from Age of Apocalypse, and Havoc from Age of Apocalypse. Yukio from Japan, <laughs> Apocalypse, 
Age of Apocalypse and another of the Holo Flash cards, Gambit. These look cool. Wolverine, Savage Beast from when he lost his adamantium cannonball, or rather it was removed by Magneto. Life Force, Deadbolt and Dirtnap. Shaman or Shaman. Weapon X, Sabertooth from we Weapon X, oh, some of them are sticky, but I think we're good to go, oh and I missed one card, which is Maverick, Wolverine vs Hulk, Northstar, Aurora, Northstar's sister, and Puck, Three characters from Alpha Flight. Wolverine vs. Sabertooth. Wolverine Second Genesis. Banshee Second Genesis. So the subsets revolve around storylines, it seems. Sunfire, Wolverine and Weapon Alpha, Logan and Victor Creed, Hurricane, Wolverine vs. Krakoa, Nice Venom, Patch, Wolverine, Mariko Yashida, another Wolverine without the Adamantium, Bishop, Gambit, Archangel, Up until now it doesn't seem as if I'm getting a lot of duplicates, so maybe I've got a chance to complete the base set. Razor Fist, Albert, Captain America, another Holo Flash, and I uh, can't remember the character. Wolverine vs. Spider- uh, Wolverine and Spider-Man, <laughs> Baby Rogue and Longshot and Dazzler from Mojo World, Omega Red, Spine, Wolverine, Beast, <laughs> The Punisher, oh that's cool, nice artwork also, Lil Wolvie <laughs> or Baby Wolverine, <laughs> Wolverine and Shadow Cat, Wolverine and the Hulk or nice Mark Texera artwork, Jean Grey and Wolverine vs Shiva. Kestrel, Wolverine and Colossus, Wolverine vs. Lord Shingen, Wolverine Department H, Wolverine and Jubilee, Wolverine vs. Genesis, Silver Fox and Wolverine and Longshot.
Cyclops, Ghost Rider, also a nice card, Wolverine vs. Magneto, Sasquatch, Storm, Nightcrawler, Thunderbird, and Magneto, Age of Apocalypse. Oh, two booklets, Silver Samurai, Ogun, Baby Colossus and Baby Nightcrawler, and a Jubilee Holo Flash card, and these seem to connect to one larger image, Baby Storm, <coughs> Baby Storm and Baby Havoc, Rough House, another nice Mark Texera artwork, Madam Hydra, and Weapon X. Okay, so this pack has no booklet. <laughs> nice Nick Fury. Pierce. Expeditor. Lady Deathstrike again. Wolverine again. Bishop. And Gambit. Mojo, Dazzler, Mystique, Yukio, Kane, Deadpool, that's nice, Wolverine, Savage Beast, and Cannonball. Cyclops again, Second Genesis, another Ghost Rider, Wolverine vs. Magneto again, Sasquatch again, Thunderbird, Age of Apocalypse Magneto, Checklist, and Wolverine and Elektra again. Tiger Tiger again, Psylocke, oh. Razor Fist, Albert, Rough House again, Madame Hydra again, Weapon X, and Sabertooth. Geist, Wolverine, Beast, Punisher again, Wolverine and Shadowcat, Wolverine and Hulk again, Jean Grey and Wolverine vs. Shiva. So now we're getting more and more duplicates. But still, it's a small base set, so maybe I get lucky. Shaman again. Weapon X. Sabertooth. Maverick. Kestrel. Silver Fox. Wolverine and Longshot again. Wolverine and Typhoid Mary. Weapon X vs. Cyclops. Banshee, Sunfire, Cyclops again, and another Holo Flash card, Cyclops, Storm. Nightcrawler, Thunderbird, and the Age of Apocalypse Magneto again. Oh, I 
put this one quite a few times now. Wolverine, Mariko, Yashida, Silver Samurai, Ogun, Deathbird, Black Widow, Weapon X and Jean Grey, Baby Storm and Baby Havoc. Last three packs. Still haven't pulled one of the very rare chase cards. So hopefully there's one in this box. Per, from the odds, there should be. If I'm going by the odds of the packs, Captain America, Nick Fury again, Expeditor again, Cyclops, Age of Apocalypse, Havoc, Age of Apocalypse, Wolverine and Spider Man, and Baby's Rogue, Longshot, and Dazzler. Lil Vuvi, Mojo, Dazzler, Mystique, Kane, Deadpool again, Wolverine, Savage Beast, and Cannonball. Hmm, so maybe I can't find one of the rarer chase cards, that would be annoying, but if it should be in this pack. So let's see. Wolverine and Colossus, Wolverine vs. Lord Shingen, Wolverine vs. The Thing, no, come on, Wolverine Department H, and another Holo Flash Magneto, Wolverine vs. Hulk, North Star, Aurora again, and Puck. So here's what I got out of the box. Sadly, I was not able to complete the 100 card base set. I'm still missing two cards, which is a little bit annoying since these are rather hard to find nowadays and not really one of the cheaper sets. And um, it's very nice. It keeps in line with the other Fleer Ultra X-Men sets because it's all exclusive and all painted artwork. And what I really like about it is how they put it together, so each page is its own subset and all cards are drawn by the same artist. So first off we have the Weapon X subset, which is completely drawn by Glenn Orbick. And obviously it's characters that have a relation with, weapon, with the Weapon X program. Next page is the D Department H subset which adheres to the first appearance of Wolverine in Hulk 181, where he was still controlled by Department H, which is sort of the Canadian equivalent of the Weapon X program. And that's why there's also so many Alpha Flight characters on this page, because they were also controlled by Department H for a certain amount of time. Then we come to the second Genesis subset, which adheres to the um, first appearance of the new X-Men in Giant Size X-Men 1, where they fought the Living Island Krakoa, which had captured the original X-Men team, and Professor Xavier sent the new characters out to save the, the old characters. Then we come to the Japan, J, uh, Japan <laughs> subset, which is all drawn by um, Boris Vallejo, also very nice artwork. And this adheres to the first Wolverine miniseries, where he traveled to Japan and wanted to marry Mariko Yoshida, who was, I think, the sister of the Silver Samurai, as far as I can remember. Also very nice painted artwork. Then we have the Allies subset, which obviously um, consists of allies that Wolverine has uh, teamed up with in the past. And this is all drawn by Dave Dorman, also a nice artist when it comes to painted artwork. Then we come to the Madripur subset, which adheres to the storyline 
or storylines from the early Wolverine ongoing series where he hid in uh, Madripoor as under the disguise of Patch and I think he um, had a bar there as far as I can remember also very nice artwork by Mark Texera if I haven't said it before then we come to the Mojo World subset which is also very nice and as far as I can remember that was a storyline from the uh, Uncanny X-Men and then the next page is the enemy subset and here you can see the two cards are missing or obviously you can't see them because I'm missing them also some very nice images nice paintings very reminiscent of um, the style of Bill Sienkiewicz but it's another artist called Dennis Calero then we come to the X-Men subset which obviously um, is based on the relaunch by Jim Lee and this is very nice artwork from Joe Jusco very ni nicely painted very vibrant colors I really like those cards then we come to the Age of Apocalypse subset which has also some nice artwork and the artist for this one is Mark Sasso or was Mark Sasso then we come to the Savage Beast subset which um, adheres to the time when Magneto removed the adamantium from Wolverine and Wolverine was more and more turning into a savage beast and um, relying on his instincts and it was a very weird, weird time he was drawn very weird at that time but still some very nice cards and these were all drawn by Brian Stelfries and then we come to the chase cards I found which are I, I pulled six of those holo flash sadly I pulled a duplicate on the Magneto and these are all drawn by Greg and Tim Hildebrand and as you can see when you complete the set it's a page of connecting cards but I don't know if I can complete it as I said before these are very hard to find and not really cheap and so I decided to put the checklist also in there and one of the um, promotional booklets that were in each pack and one thing I also really like about the set is the fact that they used uh, the back of the cards in a very different way so the back of the cards are a comic book and this is something I've very rarely seen or I only know of the Avengers Kree Skrull War which those cards complete to a full comic book and here we have just a comic storyline on the backs of the cards which is very nice and so there's um, very um, not a lot of information on the descriptions of the cards but therefore you get a well not the best story but I think it's still a really cool idea to do something like that and yeah overall it's a very cool set I'm hoping I can complete it in the future maybe even with the chase cards oh yeah and one thing I forgot I was supposed to pull one of the um, Mirage Morph cards which were solicited with odds of 1 in 24 packs but I did not pull one from this box which was also very annoying so overall it wasn't really a good box because I think you could have completed the set easily I have a lot of duplicates and yeah I don't know if I'm gonna finish it I hope I can that would be awesome but yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and maybe till next time bye bye